Hi, my name is Dave Tyler and I'm an audio solutions specialist at Avid. Pro Tools 2020 introduces the new Folder Tracks feature and in this first video we'll look at Folder Track Creation. Folder Tracks can perform a simple organizational function or can form part of your session's routing infrastructure. So with that in mind, there are two types of Folder Tracks, Basic Folders and Routing Folders. Basic Folders just allow you to group your tracks together and easily tidy them away. A Routing Folder combines this organizational aspect with the ability to route audio through the folder as you would an auxiliary input. The difference is obvious when you're looking at the edit and mix windows because a basic folder has no controls on it, but a routing folder has all the audio controls you'd expect, solo mute buttons, insert sends, and so on. So let's take a look at how you might create a folder. So there are two ways of approaching this. One is to create the folder first and put the tracks in it, or you create a folder from a track selection. So to create an empty folder, use the new tracks dialog. Here you can choose to create a basic folder or a routing folder. To put tracks into the folder, you can just drag them in. You can do this in the edit window, in the mix window, or even in the tracks list. Another way of doing it is to right click on the tracks that you want to put into the folder and choose the move to option. When you look in the move to menu, you'll see a list of folders available to move the tracks into, or you can move them up to the top level. You can also use this move to option to create a new folder from the track selection, or use the keyboard shortcut, Command, Option, Shift, and N. Or on Windows, that's Control, Alt, Shift, and N. When you create a routing folder this way, you'll see an option in the dialog box that allows you to automatically route your tracks to this new routing folder. When you do this, a new bus is created using the same name as the routing folder, and then all of your tracks are routed to that bus. And of course, that bus will also be set to the input of the folder track. If a folder is open, and you create new tracks directly under it, then they'll automatically go into the folder. And if you're adding tracks to a routing folder, then don't forget that you need to adjust the output of that track so that it's routing through the folder. If you don't want your new tracks to go into a folder, then make sure the folders are closed before creating the new track. Of course, you can create folders within folders within folders to create a very complex nested folder structure, really useful for organizing those complex sessions. That's the end of part one. In the next video, we'll look at folder management. For more information, go to avid.com.